Hello, everybody. Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the full moon energies. There is a lot happening in the world. There is much that is chaotic. And yet, my presentations are designed to bring you to a level of calm, clarity, and a sense of wonder and expectancy. In this full moon energy, you may be experiencing quite a bit of intensity. There are several influences, which I will talk about in here. The first thing to know is that in this full moon's energy, you may feel somewhat of a crescendo feeling, a sense of urgency. This has to do with the promises the promises of what's to come, of why you are here, why you incarnated, why did you find out about love to begin with? It has to do with the promises of that love, the honesty, the forthrightness, the seeing things clearly, to see what love is and what love is not. Everything is love. But when you're in a lower vibration, you can sometimes feel things that are not love. It can become confusing for you. This full moon's light promises to shed light on those very things that you may question. This moon is heavily influenced. It is under the influence of Pluto, Saturn, Mars, these are all heavy masculine influences, particularly electric masculine. Electric masculine is the doing energy. It is the pushing energy. On one extreme, it can seem very predatory. On the other extreme, it can be action. It can be taking charge. There are good and bad in this as love has become corrupted. The Pluto energy is about those things that are still somewhat in the womb, being created, being thought of, sort of in the dirt, very in alignment with spring energy. They are the bulbs you planted last season that are coming out and rising up despite the repeat of the weather where winter may not want to let you go where you live. The Saturn energy, this is bringing sense and sensibility, order to the chaos. And the Mars energy, this is something that many people are struggling with, conflicts, internal conflict, conflict with oneself, with family, breakups. This is breakup energy. You may do well to finally break up with that person that you've been feeling for a long time, maybe you should just break up and be done with it. An X is an X for a reason. And this has been said by someone publicly on a show, Montel Williams, he has said this many times. But in this energy, in this heavy masculine energy, there are still gems in the dark. It's like going into a cave. Do you follow the brave into the cave? But sometimes there are gems in there that you can find. This is a full moon which sheds light and yet can also overturn those shadows which hold truth, treasure, and value. This is an energy to help you value yourself again and put an emphasis on those things that you yourself value. Do you value honesty? Do you value an honest relationship? Do you value love or do you roll over and play dead again and again and again? This moon will help you and will nudge you and will even push you. Otherwise, such riches and value are not easily found, but they can bring great rewards to those eager to seek it in this moon of growth. This influence is not just the only influence. It is not just the moon, it is the sun, it is the stars, it is the tides, it is the wave of humanity. And yet there is an emphasis on fresh growth, 
new growth, those that can deeply tap the resources from under things, this is very, very valuable. So the marathon of your journey, yes, this can lead you to exhaustion. Many people are feeling exhaustion. They're feeling exhaustion, fatigue, world weariness, tired of it all, and a rebirth from death. Rebirth from death. What is dying? What do you need to cut some cords with? We will be talking about that in my group. What is making you weary of the world? What is having a negative influence on you? Is it the media? Is it your family? Is it being sick? Is it being sick and tired of being sick and tired? Is it dealing with people with addictions? Is it dealing with the violence or just hearing about it? All of this chaos is exhausting because it is no longer an energy that's being upheld. It takes a lot of energy to hold this up. You're exhausted. You're fatigued. There are parts of you that simply want to break from it all. Do you want your real life back? That is a part of what you should value, your real life. For many men, they too are fatigued, exhausted. They're tired of upholding things. That is what happens with the electric masculine energy. He, whether male or female, gets tired. It's hard to keep outputting, outputting. This can also lead to emotional confusion, not knowing what is felt or feeling a jumble of emotions, underwhelmed, overwhelmed. There's not enough energy to solve all of the world's problems. Many men feel to put on their cape and try to solve this and that, try to be there for people, all good intentions. And yet at a personal level, this can really drain both people in the union. It can drain the man, it can drain the woman, it can drain two women, it can drain two men. This energy has to do with failed relationships and trying to make things work beyond all reason. And an emphasis on financial needs. Financial needs such as what is coming up? What is for this next season? What are your goals? What do the children need? What are the retirement needs? There is a powerful benevolent force of love moving you past, both of you, past the influences of the gods of war. This is towards true surrender because the only way to do this is not always in your human way. The human you may fail. You need to tap into your much higher selves and melting you back into one. Those are the merges that I help you create. I guide people into that. Power in the world cannot destroy that which is firmly rooted in love. This is why you have found each other lifetime after lifetime. This is why you find and see each other beyond death, whether it is a visceral death here or whether it is actual death. You have vowed and promised to find each other again. So join us for a full moon in meditation group. Please see the link in the description. Learn more of your true human angelic nature as two individuals of one union so that you help each other for this intense season of pushing forward. There will be a lot of intensity. You will be pushed. You're getting pushed out of your comfort zones. No more complacency. And real growth will actually bring joy with it. It's time to get your real life back. Thank you. Put your thoughts to sleep and do not let them cast a shadow over the moon of your heart. Let go of thinking. Do not think, do. Feel, breathe, and love. Let me teach you and help you. I hope to see you there to meet and to learn, to grow and to feel what you're supposed to feel on this. To not feel rejected or overlooked or discarded or left behind or exhausted. Come feel love again. Thank you. I look forward to meeting you.